Hi and welcome to Parts of a Circle. Uh, just before we start, just a reminder that there is a nose chart reveal for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so today's video is going to be really, really quick. It's just a, a quick introduction to the different elements of a circle um, and how you can define those different areas on that circle as well. So I'm going to begin with the line which I've highlighted in pink. It is a straight line cutting that circle in half exactly. It is going from one side of the circle to the other, crossing straight through the center. And that is called the diameter. So the diameter is a straight line which cuts a circle in half exactly. The blue line is related very closely to it. The blue line goes from the very centre of the circle to the outside and therefore it is only half of the length of the diameter and that one is known as the radius. Now those two values are going to be very important if you are looking to find the area or the circumference of circles but you'll come to that at a later date. Um, next we'll look at the green line. The green line is a straight line which joins any two points on the circumference of the circle and that is known as a chord. Now what that means is the diameter is a very special type of chord because it joins together two points on the circumference of a circle but generally a chord will be shown as something which is not going straight through the centre. Um, on the outside of the circle, the part we have highlighted in red. Now this is a line joining together any two points on the circumference, but we're talking about the curved section of the circumference, and that is known as an arc. That is basically the shape you would form if you were using a compass and drawing a shape. So if we took our compass like this, we would be drawing arcs every time that we use that compass. And finally, uh, the yellow line, it is a straight line which is just touching the edge of the circle. It is not crossing through the circle, it is just touching it and it is only touching in a single point. And this is known as a tangent. So a tangent is a straight line just touching the edge of a circle. Okay, and in our second diagram, we're going to look at a couple of sections of a circle uh, which are enclosed by other elements. And so I'm going to begin with the green piece. Uh, the green piece is enclosed by a radius and another radius and then the arc around the outside. Um, and so a section which is um, enclosed by two radiuses or two radii as the correct uh, plural is known as a sector. And so a sector is the piece which looks like a slice of pizza. The pink section, uh, well that is enclosed by, again, an arc around the outside and then a chord on the inside of the circle. And the section that is enclosed by an arc and a chord is known as a segment. And if you have a look at it, it does actually look quite a lot like the uh, a segment of orange. And therefore that is one way that you can try and remember the difference between segment and sector.